Hey there, I'm Ken. This is Canadian Retro Things. Welcome. Today, I am going to look at version 1.0.0 of the Nitrous 9 EOU project. Just over a month ago, version 1.0.0 of the Nitrous 9 EOU project was officially released. That's right, it is now out of beta. What exactly does this mean? Well, it means there's been some additions, there's been some optimizations, and there has been some upgrades. So what I'm going to look at today are just a few of these that are more relevant to me and to my knowledge of the EOU project. But that doesn't mean that there aren't a lot more that should be checked out because I'm just scratching the surface with, with what I'm looking at today. So let's fire up the old Coco 3 and get this program running. Before we get to the actual program, I'll remind you again of where you can download this project, which is right here on the Nitrous 9 Ease of Use download page. The link is in the description. Now, when you do download it, you have to choose which version download is the most appropriate for you. For example, whether you have a Gimme X or not, and whether you're running a 6809 or a 6309 CPU. Once you download it, you'll get some documentation, including some suggested environment file layouts. Now, if you need to see how to change and customize these, I did do a video about that, which is also linked in the description. Also included is the beginner's documentation, which if you haven't yet, you should read over. It includes a lot of information, including what I consider probably the most important here is some special keys that are used in the Nitrous 9 Ease of Use project. And of course, there's a list of updates included in this version. Now, as I said, I'm going to be taking a look at a few of these updates today, the ones that are more relevant to me, but there are a lot in here, so you should read it over because there may be a lot of things in here that are more relevant to you than they are to me. But now that we've looked at that, let's move on to the actual program. And of course, one of the first things you notice on the boot up screen is at the top, it says that this is a Nitrous 9 level 2 EOU version 1.0.0. So it is officially out of beta. So the first thing I am going to talk about is how there have been some optimizations to both basic 09 and the run B command. Now, I have not covered the run B command in any of my videos. So just a quick little thing here is that using the help command that is conveniently built into basic 09, uh, that run B is a basic 09 runtime package command. So you don't have to go into basic 09 to run basic 09 runtime packages. You use the run B command. Now, both basic 09 and run B are now faster at passing parameters to other basic 09 run B programs. But there are also lots of upgrades in the 6809 version, which I am not running. I'm running the 6309 version here, but there are updates with the real and integer mathematical functions, as well as some loops. Now, Take, if you take a look at the documentation that I showed you, it'll give you all of the actual numbers for how much of a speed up there was there. The run B command on the 6309 version also has its real math functions upgraded. So it now has the same optimizations as the 6309 basic 09. The next thing that I'm gonna look at is a nice little upgrade done to the G shell program. And what I am talking about here, the control panel.
Now you may have seen the author of this control panel, Fred Provencha, talking about it on Coco Talk. Actually, as a quick side note, if you've not heard, Coco Talk has changed its name to Coco Nation and can now be seen on its own YouTube channel as well as Twitch and other places. I'll link my announcement video about that in the description where you can get all the new URLs from that video. So you can uh, make sure that you can find the show if you did not know that the name has changed. Now, back to the control panel, you have a lot more options here for setting a custom look for yourself. So just starting here for the G shell, which is the GUI that we're looking at right now, you can set it to 40 column or 80 column. Uh, you can change the color. So if you want everything in red, say, so let's just do that. And uh, then we can move to the display which is um, outside of the uh, G shell program. So I don't really want to change the display as it is right now, but you can set, set it to a composite monitor, RGB monitor, monochrome monitor, change the color scheme. Then you have the mouse option here for left or right port, low res or high res mouse, second button on or off. On the keyboard, you can turn your key click on or off. I will turn that off because, of course, I have the Rick Euland uh, keyboard replacement keyboard in here right now, and it is far clicky enough for me. I don't need the program clicking as well. You can also set your repeat and uh, repeat um, delay and speed. Now, you can change the size of your text windows and 40 or 80 column. Now, since I use an RGB um, output here, I will change that to 80 column. Then you also have printer, system, and boot up. So you can actually um, see what your boot up is set to here. And These are advanced things that I will not play around with, and I don't have a printer, so there's no point in uh, setting anything here for me. Now, when I exit it, it will ask me if I would like to save everything. I will say yes. And then I will have my G Shell program on a gray background with red lettering. So that is a lot simpler to make some customization changes than the way that I have shown in the video that I actually have linked in the description. If you want to do some more advanced um, changes, then uh, you have to follow the old system. But to make some minor cosmetic changes, this works just great. And of course, the most important thing to look at for changes in here are to the games that are included. There are a lot of different games included here. So both level one and level two games. And I might add a lot of these were submitted by Jim Gary. Now you'll be able to um, identify the games that he put in because they have the GSoft logo there. So to quickly look at what is new here, you've got in level one arcade, you've got Sentinel. And then under card games, you have Blackjack and CN Poker. Under Casino, you have Slots. And under Strategy, you have Bomb Away, Cave Hunt, Rat Maze, Star Trek and Sweeper. So actually all of strategy on level one is new. And then you get into the level two games. And under adventure, you've got some new text games. So you have uh, Cave Hunt 2 Gargoyle, 
and York Deed. Now I have not tried most of these games yet. I haven't had time, but uh, yeah, I know that there is going to be many hours of playing some games on my Nitrous 9 disc here. So under board games, Peg Leap is new. Education now has Eliza. So if you don't want to pay for uh, going to see a therapist, well, just talk to Eliza. And with simulators, we have golf and football. And of course, there's all these other games that are just on here that are great games too. So I'm not just saying get it for the new games because there's lots of great old games on here too. And under strategy, we have Star Trek, we have Sub Hunt, Sweeper 2, and Towers of Atlantis. So as you can see, if you are a game player, yeah, there's lots new here. So now it's time for me to boot up a game. So now as you can see, these are just a few of the upgrades and optimizations to version 1.0.0 of the Nitrous 9 EOU. And no matter if you're a programmer or a game player, this version has things for everyone. So if you haven't downloaded the Nitrous 9 EOU yet, why haven't you? Go do it. Um, I'll just play this game while I wait for you to do that. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget that a like or comment is always appreciated. And if you haven't, you can even subscribe just to make sure that you see my future videos. So until the next video, Bye for now, I'm going to play some games here on Nitrous 9 EOU, version 1.0.0.